Welcome to the program. I'm Mark Imperial. This segment's being brought to you by booksgrowbusiness.com. It's the place where entrepreneurs, professionals, and business owners publish to grow their businesses and to leave a legacy. We're doing a series of business spotlights on remarkable people, places, and things from across the country and in your town. Joining me on this segment is Cam Callender. He's the founder of MSI Mind. Cam, welcome to the program. Thank you, Mark. Glad to be here. Cam, tell us a little bit about uh, the MSI concept and the types of folks that you work with. Oh, definitely. Yeah. So what the MSI concept is, it is a, an income stream segment based on the different types of income streams. And I'm narrowing them down to eight specific types. And those different types are independent of each other, but they also can complement each other and you can build from one stream to the next. So what I do is consult with a lot of people showing them how to take one income stream and build it into another income stream type, rather than most people thinking that having like two jobs is two income streams. But as we've seen with COVID, jobs can easily change and things need to change. So having those different income streams can kind of build that safety net for you, making sure that they're independent of each other. So it sounds like rather than adding another job or more tasks on your plate, it sounds like th these are passive income streams? Yes, some of them are passive. Some of them are direct sales, like a profit. So if you did have a job, you could have something on the side, such as like an eBay store, store or an Etsy store, something where you, you are profiting from sales or you start to build investments that, that would give you a return on your investment. So there are separate income streams with the eight streams of income that I focus on. And it's really, some are passive, some have a little bit of work to them, but all, all you can set them up to operate on their own. Tell me about the ideal person that you like to work with. Somebody, you know, what are they looking for in life? What are they currently doing? What, are, what do they want, like to take them from where they are now to where they want to be? Tell us a little bit about uh, who those people are and, the, you know, the kind of challenges that they face and what they really want um, that you can help them with. Definitely. So most of them, uh, the most of the people that I work with, they have that entrepreneurial spirit. They know they don't want to work a job forever, or they also realize that they can't work that same job forever. You know, cut construction workers, people that, you know, do a hard labor, eventually their body's going to break down. They, even if they love that job, they can't physically do it forever. And they start to realize that and they want to start to develop something more for themselves so that they are have that safety net or something that they can rely on when they know they're no longer going to be able to do what they're doing right now, whether they love it or not. They, they realize that they're going to need something more or something else to take care of themselves in the future as far as income goes. When folks are looking for these things, uh, there must be a lot of myths or misconceptions around adding additional revenue streams in their lives. What are some of the things that you hear from people that just don't, get, don't quite have all the information? Uh, yeah, so, and that's what I kind of tie to with having, you know, multiple jobs, hearing that those multiple streams of income, they think just because it is another place that draws in income, if it's the same type, it has its same pitfalls. So having multiple streams of income is really having different types of incomes so that you have safety nets. And it's kind of like a, a, one of the income streams is stock portfolios. It's diverse, diversifying your portfolio of income. So when you have just you know one job or two jobs, or you just have jobs as, as your earned income as one type of income, you don't have any investments, you don't have any dividend income, or you're not deriving more streams of income, or you have that income coming from one place. A lot of people are in the direct sales market and they sell a couple of different products. They're like, well, I have this product and I have that product, but you're still in the same space of your same customer base, the same activities that you're trying to do, and they have their same pitfalls. So that's kind of the myth when people think they have multiple streams of income, they don't realize they're in the same pitfalls. Even if you sold 15 different products, you still have those same pitfalls with those products if you're in direct sales or network marketing or things of that nature. So you have to diversify your income types. And there's multiple ways to do that with the eight income streams so that you have different income types. So if one starts to slow down, you know, as me, I was in the travel industry and travel slowed down due to COVID, but having the other income streams that I had, that didn't hinder me. I was able to continue to move forward with my other income streams. That, that's a great example right there. And, and, and now that I, I understand this concept, 
Um, give us the big picture. Like when you're working with somebody for the first time that, that says, Cam, help me out. Where do I get started? What conversation do you have with them? How do you get them started? And kind of give us a big picture of these eight income streams. Definitely. So what I usually first start with, um, the income streams are in order. Um, they, they go through one through eight. Um, it mostly starts with asking them what income streams do they currently have. So see what we have, what foundation we have to build off of, whether it's a job, whether they're, you know, selling something online or what experiences they've had in the past. And then from there, it's developing them where they want to go, where they want to see themselves, what, what is their actual goal. And that's the thing with changes with every single person. Everybody has their different goals and their different numbers that they want to reach, you know, as far as their retirement and what they, they need to, what they want in life at the end of the day. So it's really asking them where they are and where they want to go to is where the starting point is. Fantastic. Cam, you know, before the before we started recording here, we had a conversation and, and I mentioned Cutco Knives and I saw in your background that you started there. Tell us a little bit more about how you got to be doing this now. Like what, how'd you get started? How did you get inspired? And, in, in, you know, what started your entrepreneurial itch? Definitely for me, it was right at the dawn of the internet back in the dial up days. Once we started getting online, it was like, I want to find ways to make money. And it started when I was just a kid in school. Coming home from school, I used to take surveys online to make money. And I just wanted to make extra money to spend on things that I had. You know, I had, you know, my normal chores and allowance from my parents, but I wanted to make some of my own money so that I could spend it on whatever I wanted to spend it on. So I'd always started, you know, something small and online. From there, I ended up developing an eBay store and selling drop shipping online early on, um, right when the internet started. And then I moved into direct sales and selling Cutco, as you've seen uh, uh, on my profiles. Um, but then, yes, just started moving into direct sales. And then from that direct sales and that entrepreneurial itch, I just continued to develop more and more products that I continued to sell and broaden my sales skill. And then from there, I started to develop ways that yeah, I knew it was something that I could do but I wanted to develop other concepts that people could follow and they could do it in any type of lifestyle that they wanted and kind of molded that and made it something customizable for each different person. So you've had a lot of experience with entrepreneurship and direct sales and selling. Was there a game changing moment that you can recall that where you finally said, man, this is all coming together now and making sense. Cause like, tell me like what it was like in the beginning uh, when it when you were first getting started, was it difficult? Did you struggle with something? Was there a breakthrough moment for you? Yes, there was for me. And uh, the, the breakthrough moment was, is I used to think in those same concepts that I had mentioned before, you know, having multiple jobs, having, I used to work in, uh, do a lot in network marketing. I still do, but I used to, the original MSI concept was having multiple network marketing programs and those different products. That was the original uh, idea and the concept of it. And I revamped and redeveloped that because then I realized that same thing of, uh, of that concept of if they're, if they're in the same type of income type, they have the same pitfalls. And the old adage goes, everybody agrees, you never want to put all your eggs in one basket. So when, you know, realizing that I started to then more modify the MSI concept, and then I developed it on the eight income streams and focused on those income types rather than having, you know, multiples of the same type. Wow, that, that's really sage advice. Cam, before I ask you my last question, uh, I'm curious, give us a, a big picture of some of these income streams. We mentioned like, you know, direct sales as being one of them. And um, kind of tell us about what some of the other ones are like and how they can become passive and not require like a, you know, uh, uh, more direct selling, something in a different niche. <laughs> Yes, yes. So the other niches are investing in, in different ways. Um, you can do stock investments. A lot of I teach, I show a lot of people my dividend portfolio. I have a portfolio of stocks that is only dividend producing stocks. So you have dividend income, stock income, which you can get capital gains off of, and those grows. Picking the right investments. Um, you can pick other investments. As far as getting into, um, I've gotten into some IPOs and some early on investments, on in which there's a lot of websites now like WeFunder and things like that, where an upstart where you can get into companies early on and start investing um, in things that you like and different niches from there. 
And there's also a lot of uh, still a, a very good income stream is once you start to build up your income is a, is a rental income. So having rental properties and using real estate. So there, there's income there as well. So those are all kinds of different other income streams, especially if you can get into a rental base of properties, then that can be a very passive income stream as you can get other people to manage it while it still brings in the money. Um, just like stocks, you know, other people are going to manage those companies, but you can still get a return on that investment. I know some folks that are just getting started in network marketing, for example, and some folks that have been doing it relatively successfully for a while now. When is the right time to look into the MSI mind concept? Is there a right time? Is, is there a time to be ready or when should they look at it? I would say there, it, it's a time to look into it when, you, when you've come to the realization, either you want something more or you want to you know, advance from where you currently are. If you have a goal and you want to move forward and you want to kind of diversify your portfolio, if you know you, you, if this is not, if you know that position is not gonna be the end all be all for you. Some people are there and they're good in their niche and they're gonna stay there and they can stay there for the longest time. But if they know they don't wanna to continue to do that type of work, you diversify yourself with these other type of income streams so that eventually the day that you no longer want to continue working, you have something already built. So it's that it's building because it's going to take time to build up those foundations. But you know, it, once you've got that all set together, then you, you have that place where you can say, okay, now I can fall back on these other things. Or if this happens to slow down, then I already have something that's, you know, coming up behind it. For my audience who may be resonating with you right now, where can they connect with you, you know, learn more and where should they go to find you? Uh, definitely the website, msimind.com. You can always connect with me there. Um, I am a Google search term. So if you search CAM calendar, C-A-M-C-A-L-L-E-N-D-E-R, you will be able to Google me and find any of my profiles online, my content on YouTube. Um, you can always connect with me at any time. Uh, my phone number's out there, emails are out there, social media, whichever platform that you're on. Um, feel free to connect with me in any of those platforms. All of my profiles are all public. So you can send me messages. You can connect with me in any of my online profiles. Cam, this has been terrific. I really appreciate you taking the time out of your schedule to share with my audience today. And I wish you continued success for you, for the MSI concept, and for all of your clients. Thank you, Mark. I appreciate the time. That was Cam Callender. He's the founder of the MSI Concept. And this segment's been brought to you by booksgrowbusiness.com. It's the place where entrepreneurs, professionals, and business owners publish to grow their businesses and to leave a legacy. That's all for now. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Mark Imperial. Take care.